Well, hello, my friends, and happy Sunday to you. It's Sean Petit, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Look at this we're making today. I'm creating the covers for my journal. Here are the supplies that we'll be using. So I'm starting my cover, and this my journal is kind of laid out flat, and um, I'm just starting to um, get some gesso down. This is Deco Arts Black Gesso. And I'm just roughly brushing it on. I didn't want it to be perfect because this page really, um, this page, this cover was truly a reflection of this year and the shifts and the changes and all the things that kind of happened throughout the year. And so I wanted it to be messy. So I've got out my catalyst tools for um, today's project because I wanted, again, I wanted it to be rough. And I wanted to make sure that I wasn't perfect about what I was doing. And since I don't normally use these, um, it was like I was using them for the first time. And, I, and it basically was first time in a long time. But I love how <clears throat> they give this just really rough, rustic, scratchy kind of feel, the, the catalyst um, tool. And I got, a, I got out both of mine but I ended up only really using this one, it's a smaller one. And um, I just, I really wanted to just kind of be intuitive about the cover and have it be messy because life is messy and it sure was this last year. And this journal is truly a reflection of the shifts and changes that have happened in my own life over the last year or so. So I have some magazine pages that I found and um, I thought they would be perfect as the starting place for where I was going with the cover. I'm using Liquitex matte gel to put my papers down because I really didn't, I wanted them to be fairly smooth um, without any wrinkling and matte gel does that. And um, these little woven bits of pieces of the magazine page to me represented the the things that were woven together over the time that I was in my journal and that the doorway there is that shift of walking through new territory new ways of living new ideas it's part of the shift and so I put that gesso down and then in the background, I also used um, raw umber and um, a gray um, acrylic paint. And I did it all with the catalyst tool and it felt awkward. And that that's, that's good, that's okay. Um, because it helps me be mindful um, when, you know, it's like when you're learning something new, you kind of have to take it slow and so that's what the catalyst tool was doing for me in this project was it was helping me kind of really engage in the page and in the thought process and um, i wanted to do that and so now that i've got the pages and the paint and all that down i just wrote it out i just started scribbling out the words and the things that were coming to me through um, from this year with my stabilo all pencil and um, I love how it turned out. So I just grabbed some regular gesso and um, am just scrubbing, scrubbing it on, scrubbing away the words and the thoughts and the things into another place, basically. And what's interesting is, is the Stabilo All is water soluble, but it did not move. Not even, like the harder I scrubbed, it did, seriously did not, I mean, it just even showed up more with the gesso. I, it was fascinating to me. I'm like, interesting <laughs> signs, interesting signs as we create. Um, but I had put that Stabilo pencil down into some wet paint, which makes it permanent, which I didn't think about at the time. Um, but the writing in its places just were so lovely and so, um, meaningful for this process for all the words that showed up throughout the year um, so i'm just now kind of trying to tone things down with my gesso making sure to leave the bits and pieces of things kind of showing so that um, um, it represents the story 
always representing the story. So I mi I've mixed a little bit of that gray paint and the raw umber in with some of my gesso and just kind of scrubbing back over it a little bit. And if you've, and part of the reason I don't like this catalyst tool as much is it's got a long handle and I'm a short handle kind of girl. <laughs> um, but I definitely want to use it more because I love the effect. And yeah, I was determined to um, use this throughout. And I wanted to make sure to kind of incorporate the, the arch into the piece and make it feel like it's part of it, but not cover it up. And I wanted to push kind of that, that image in the background away and back um, because shift it, uh, the, the theme of the, my journal is shifting. And um, sometimes when, it, when we're shifting and changing, we, we don't really know what's coming. And so I wanted that where I was going to be unknown. And that's why I kind of covered up that image. But the combination of black, raw umber, gray, and white gesso, yummy. This is just a random piece of like specialty woven paper that I found in my stash. And it didn't end up showing up as much as I wanted it to, but it still was delightful. And it still was there, texture was there. Um, but I loved it. And then these are my bits and pieces that have the you know, words and the meanings. It says general review, <laughs> which I thought was perfect. And so I will be, um, all of the supplies and everything will be listed on the blog and the link to the blog will be down below in the YouTube description box. So I, like I said, I was determined to use the catalyst tool but I did not like stenciling with it at all. I'm using super heavy gesso. It, the image came out fine, but it just felt awkward. I'm not exactly sure. I went through a couple of, so I switched to a palette knife and this palette knife was actually too small. <laughs> and I was like, what in the world? Um, so then I'll switch to a larger palette knife and that one didn't feel right either. I, know, I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> Sometimes it's, that's just the way that it goes. But I'm introducing whites and blacks into the page to really bring out the, um, to bring out contrast and to keep the eye moving. That was the Springs uh, Leaves stencil and the Numbers 2 stencil. And I'm using some soft, black soft pastel now to add some definitive lines and some shading. I've grabbed my scraps of words and one says shifting and I ended up having this scrap of paper and I typed it out on my old typewriter shifting and then the other piece was from one of the one of my lovely books that said um, something about the space between borders which I thought was perfect adding just a little bit of Liquitex acrylic ink for that wonderful yummy aged grungy feel. I will do a flip through of my journal at the end of the video and just kind of walk you through, walk you through the year. And what happened in between the spaces of the year, the between the pages, like I have gaps and I let you know what was going on in life during the, that time. 
And what's really amazing is that each page, I'm very, very aware of what was happening and what was going on, which is very rare for me. Writing in just a few extra little words like everything is changing and some additional shading with my General's Charcoal Pencil. So now that the front is done, I'm going to add my little embellishments and things to the back. This is the modern pattern stencil, modern pattern mini stencil, and all the stencils will be on sale this week that I used in today's project will be on sale. And again, that link will be down below um, to the stencils um, down below in the YouTube description box. Now I switched to the larger palette. It was like I was Goldilocks and I couldn't find the right palette knife. Again, using super heavy gesso in my stencil. Now I'm back to the, the uh, catalyst tool. I could not make up my mind. Using the number stencil again with just regular black paint, carbon black. This is old type text large stencil. I ended up getting paint on the back, and then I was like, oh, I like it. <laughs> I love it when that happens. So now that the front and the back are done, I've got some ruffled elastic and I explain a little bit more about this at the end of the video. Um, but I like elastic around my journals because um, I will catalog it and put it on the shelf. I don't go back to it over and over again. And um, so I need something to kind of help keep it closed. And so it probably would look better without the elastic, but I need that elastic to kind of keep it together. And then I love this vintage piece of paper kind of as the binding for the book. I love it. Love, love it. Using my gel medium to put everything down. I will put a couple of coats in my gel medium to make sure that everything stays in place. Um, because it is a vintage paper, 
and uh, it's not like it's going to get a lot of use but a uh, couple coats and then I'll grab some book binding tape um, once it's dry and cut some strips to kind of put around it which makes me think about uh, it being old and aged and being kind of repaired and I thought that was perfect and then that's about it my friends so I hope you stick around for the conversation at the end um, I share kind of some thoughts about the new year and I do a flip through and kind of really explain what was going on in the in my world through the pages and in between the pages and that is it, my loves. Um, if you enjoyed today's project, subscribe and like and all those wonderful things. And I will see you next week. Well, all right, lovies. There she is, my beautiful journal cover. I've got my closure here. I, I mean, I know it looks prettier without it, but I need that closure so that when I put it on my shelf, it stays closed and protects the pages in between, it protects the pages. Um, and I like using, there's a bunch of different like ruffle elastics different types of elastics that I like to use because I can just tie it in a knot and then if I happen to want to open it up at some point um, I can do that but for the most part I will just put it on my shelf catalog it and put it away but I love love how this turned out I loved using the magazine pages um, even the bits of pieces of where is it it was a magazine page of this kind of fabricy kind of looking I just, to me, it was part of the woven experience of this journal and this year. And it shows up in just the little bits and pieces up in here and down here. Um, just so subtly, and I love it because, again, it's part of the story. And then all of my little bits and pieces. And um, it's, this says shifting um, space between borders. And um, to me, that has meaning. And that's really what our journals are all about. And then I just kind of put here constant, constant, um, constantly changing, um, which is where we're at right now um, in our world. And I love this kind of arched doorway and the, kind of the brick showing through here. And this is my growth through this constantly shifting and changing scenario that we have called our world in the last year. Um, and just the just the extra binding and I this random book tape that I put on there just for extra reinforcement I love how it looks because it just looks it's really organic extra goodies there but um, I went over it all in the video so um, I don't need to bore you with all of that but I do want to do with oh and I want to say stencils that I used um, for today's project are will all be on sale this week and um, that's it. So I wanted to do a flip through because I didn't do it last week because I was I, I was done. <laughs> I'd had I could not do another single thing. I was done. Have a little bit of rest this week. Um, so that's good. That's very very good. Rest is so important. So um, this journal, I make all my all my journals now. Um, because I can make them exactly the size and shape that I want and I try to make them smaller so that I can complete a journal within six months or a year um, depending on how how many times I work in it and for a while I was doing a journal page every week and um, well everything changed so um, yeah so I make my own journals out of mixed media paper and I sew them um, together with waxed. I have a I have a free video workshop on how I make my journals um, on my in my workshop website, which is you can go to my website if you if you want if you're interested. Um, but okay, so this page here is actually out of order uh, because um, 
I realized that when I started my journal, I left this one blank for some reason. Typically I will write on the, I don't do my covers until the very end because I'm very messy. And I usually write on the front, um, cover front, cover back, so that I know. <laughs> because that's how I am but for whatever reason this one was blank so I did this out of turn so I'll come back to this one um, so this was actually the start of my journal and this was in October of 2019 and it's so interesting because my wording changed as I as the year progressed so like take a risk this is a great page love this all the texture and everything and then this one says seek adventure that opens your heart and mind and <laughs> I couldn't even think of saying take a risk and seek adventure um, after everything that happened this year um, because this whole year has been one giant risk and adventure. Um, but it's interesting. I love my journals because one, they're so personal. It's a sacred place and it, there's just no, <sighs> no expectation, no um, worry of perfection. Um, and so, and that's what our journals are for, is for a place for us to just be us, be ourselves, and let it all spill, all spill on the page. And our journals were never so important as this year, oh, for me anyways, especially. Um, and then Grateful, this was in January, um, no, I'm sorry, November 14th, 2019. Um, and then this is December 14th, 2019, and it says every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars and change the world. And it's funny how my quotes and everything have really shifted. The meaning has shifted over this last year. And um, so anyway, um, and I will tell you that most of these have a YouTube video. Um, some do not. Some are in the in the um, resource library or the, and resource library on the website, subscriber resource library. They're free to you, um, or they're a live video on Instagram or something like that. So they're all out there. Every single page is out there. Okay, so this is January 2020, and these were my words for the year: capture every beautiful moment. <laughs> and rise to new strengths and abilities to rise and um, so happy and bright <laughs> and um, I did I did actually accomplish these things it just looked very different um, I was able to capture some memories and moments this year with my friends and family but it was all via zoom and um, I was able to rise. I was able to, um, and I don't even know if rise is the right word. I was able to cope. Um, and, and I'm okay. Everybody's okay. We're all good. We're all healthy. Everybody's, you know, and that, for that I am truly grateful. Um, did I rise to the accompl accomplishments that I wanted to? somewhat but not fully and that's okay because um, grace is 100% important in the world that we're living in right now and so um, my words for 2021 haven't quite come to me yet because I just am unsure about a lot of things but they'll come um, so this is January 2nd January 30th this is Renew a right, right Spirit Within Me. That yummy texture. Mm, mm, mm. And this was February 13th, Journey. And this is about the time that things started to change around the um, world. Um, things, we weren't quite there yet in the United States, but things were happening and it was, it was getting kind of sketchy in our world. Um, and this one says, come alive. This was February 27th. And this is right before, um, right before full lockdown happened in, in my state anyway. And so February 27th. And then the next journal page isn't until May, the end of May. And that's partly because, uh, one, the staff wasn't here. And I was running the show by myself. And I was working like ridiculous hours 16 hour days to get to 
get orders out and stuff. Um, and then part of that too was in this process between February and June, February, March, and wait, February, March, April, May, almost June, that's almost four months, geez Louise. Um, I also did a calm journaling series to kind of like really focus in on specific words to help us through what we were all dealing with. So quarantine and everything happened and then May 30th, <clears throat> end of May, almost June, I was, I was like, oh, I need freedom. It just, it was a way, I just I felt chained. And um, I'm sure like everyone else. And freedom from so many things. Freedom from the pandemic. Freedom from racial injustice. Freedom from the politics. Freedom. I just <laughs> didn't want any more of it. Um, and then um, I just... So that was uh, Feb May 30th. Oh, and this one was May 30th as well. Because I had some new stencils out that I was working with. So I did both of these. And this was, dang, I need to create some joy. <laughs> oh, I can, And you know what's interesting is I can remember the days and the process um, through these, through these pages. And then, so that was May. And then this was September. So a lot of time passed again because of the Calm Journaling series that I was doing and just... It was too much. Everything was too much. Um, this page is actually um, on um, Instagram. In my IG um, TV, start to finish. Um, and this was September 25th. This is October 3rd. And this is, um, this is one that's in the resource library. And I believe it's on Instagram, too. I'm not sure. This is Instagram and Resource Library. And it says, so this is Beauty in the Journey. Man, I was so struggling to find my beauty um, in this journey of 2020. And then this one says, look on the bright side. Can you see the shift in my quotes, in my just the things? Uh, totally, totally different perspective. Um, <clears throat> and trying to find some bright, and, and even just seeing the, my style shift and change, because it, my style is very, was very controlled, um, in, in so many ways. And then it just, <laughs> it just kind of went off the rails and I just, I don't, it just didn't matter. I just needed to get paint down because that was my therapy. And this one, I can remember creating this one. This one was live. This was a live IG video. That's right, this was live. <clears throat> and Mistel and I um, had been working hard to try and create together. And this one was during one of those um, sessions. She didn't actually create with me, but I just love this page. Look on the bright side. Um, October, um, desperately trying to find inspiration. Desperately. This was also, this is an Instagram video. This was um, October 23rd. So this was October 16th. October 23rd. This was actually the um, 12 sten or one stencil 12 ways the past creative team YouTube hot hop. Love these colors. So that was October. And then um, this was just last week, December 27th, and there's a lot of space in between here. Oh, wait. <clears throat> this was November, <laughs> um, and I, I don't remember. I think this was actually an IG video as well, but I was playing with some new me metallic paints from Arteza. And I'll try to list as many of these videos in case you want to go back and watch them. Um, and then this was last week, which was November. And in between these times, the September or the October, 
November, December pages. I was filming a workshop and I did another YouTube hop. So, and just all the things. So it was kind of a crazy time. Um, and then my cover. And so that is my, my, and typically I would have finished this six months ago, but this, you know, we start a new journal in a new year, in a crazy new year. And, um, it's perfect timing. And like I said last week, grace and serendipity for this journal, the way that it worked out. And so that is my journal, my friends. I hope that, um, if you don't have a journal that you create and that you might find some time to do that because they're so incredibly personal. Even my cover is different than I typically do. Let me grab. So a lot of my journals are, very, like I said, very, very structured, very um, graphic. I usually always have some kind of metal element, um, very... It's just this is this is dark and it's just a reflection of where my journey has been I'm trying to look for my other journal Let's see if I have it out what I even did with it I don't even know at this point <laughs> oh here's another one so see my metal elements and very structured and um this one is just a messy mess of a mess, and I love it because it's me, and that's what our journals are about, us, and um, it's, it's our therapist. And so I pray that you guys have a journal or that you dabble in journaling, even if it's just to make a mess. Um, it's just so, so good for your soul. And that is it, my friends. I will start a new journal next week, and I will be alternating like regular art pieces and journal pages for Sunday Inspiration. I'm just to try and stay um, consistent. Um, I was doing two videos a week, uh, Sunday Inspiration and an art journal page, and I just physically can't do that anymore. Um, trying to set some boundaries and set some time for rest for myself for the new year, which is very difficult for me. Um, but I am bound and determined to do that uh, for myself, for you, because um, for anyone who's watching, when when I'm creating burnt out, it's just it's not it's not as good. And so um, for me, for you, for my people around me, uh, trying to set some boundaries and rest a little bit super hard for me um all right my friends um that is it no truly inspirational uh words for you except uh, go easy on yourself um this week uh trans the the, the week be between christmas and new year's and that kind of bump after new year's it, it's kind of this real big letdown and it's when a lot of people experience depression and different things like that. And um, it's because we're kind of we're kind of in this limbo, and especially right now, trying to make plans for an, a year that we have no idea what, what it will hold for us is very, very difficult, especially for my personality type, for sure. Um, so go easy on yourself. Give yourself some grace. Allow yourself to rest. And um, <clears throat> I don't make New Year's resolutions because I just think it adds too much pressure to us. But I do set goals and I make plans. I have a business. you got to do those kinds of things. Um, but I am taking a easier approach to it this year. And uh, just kind of waiting a little bit and just kind of resting and allowing some grace within myself, within my relationships, within my work within the business um, a little bit of grace is what we need right now um, then, we can, then I can kind of pick up some speed and, and move forward fast forward I don't know fast forward to 2022 um, anyway just try to make the best of your time right now and um, it will come um, give yourself some grace all right my friends have a wonderful week and I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.